This is a quick overview of the Visual Studio CPP Depend add-in. Let's first install the add-in from the start page. Almost all the VS versions are supported. For example, we can install it for the 2017 version. After the install, we can start Visual Studio. Before working with CPP Depend for a solution, we need to attach a CPP Depend project to it. We can attach it to an existing CPP Depend project or create a new one. After the attach, we can launch the CPP Depend analysis. From the CPP Depend menu, we can access all the product features, including the dashboard, diagrams, CQ Link Queries Explorer, and more. From the dashboard, we can discover all the issues. We can also explore the debt of each rule. The diagrams are also accessible from Visual Studio. For example, we can navigate inside the dependency matrix. The search panel is useful to search code elements based on quality metrics. For example, we can search the methods that have a high cyclomatic complexity. We can double-click from the query result to navigate to the method inside the editor. From the source code, we can right-click the code element and access the CPP Depend menu, which provides many possibilities to explore the metrics and issues of the chosen element. For example, we can get all of its issues. From the status bar, we have a summary of the quality gates, rules, and issues, and we can modify the analysis refresh settings. By default, the analysis is done after the project builds success. And if we build the project, the analysis is launched automatically to ensure that the CPP depend result is in sync with the source code. Using Visual Studio, we can also create a CQ link query to focus on a set of code elements. For example, we can search for methods having a cyclomatic complexity of more than 10. The CPP Depend tool has much more to offer. Just install it and see what it can tell you about your code base.